Hello and welcome to your digital maze tutorial video. So there are going to be quite a few digital mazes that you are going to do and they're all going to follow somewhat of the same format. So when you go to your spreadsheet or your, your table that has all of your assignments listed on it, you're going to find the digital maze icon and double click on it. It's going to open up to a page that looks like this. If you see at the bottom of the screen, you have a page for directions and a page for maze one. We are currently on the page for directions and I would actually like for you to pause this video and open up this page as well. Split your screen and we can do it together. So the first thing you're going to do is find the start problem. This is the problem that you are going to start with. 5 minus 8. You know 5 minus 8 is negative 3. So in this little dashed box right below the problem, you're going to type your answer. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. That is the correct answer, and you hit enter to prove that it's the correct answer. This is a self-checking assignment. So when I hit enter, the path should appear to tell me where to go for my next problem. If I were to type in the wrong answer, if I were to type in the wrong answer, no path appears in either direction. So there's, it doesn't tell me where to go. So if no path appears, I know that I typed in the wrong answer. So I'm going to go back and type in the correct answer. And my path appears telling me to go to the next problem, which is 2 minus negative 4. Same change change tells me that this is 2 plus positive 4, which is 6. Enter. And my next path tells me that I'm doing negative 5 plus negative 3, which is negative 8. And when I hit enter here, I have finished the maze. So that's all you're going to do. And then when you're ready, you're going to move over to maze 1, and here's your maze. Your start problem is right in the center, so you're going to type in your answer here and hit enter and it is going to direct you through the maze and it's going to tell you when you have finished the problem. So when you're finished, I would like you to file save as. You're going to save this wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to save it right now to my desktop because I already have it saved in my documents. So you're going to save it digital maze, adding and subtracting integers, save. All right, now when you're ready, you are going to email it to Ms. Palo. You're going to go to your Outlook and start a fresh email to Ms. Palo. You are going to call it digital maze, adding and subtracting integers in the subject and then you're going to attach file sometimes your file will be right here up at the top sometimes you're going to have to browse this PC either way you are going to make sure it attaches as a file make sure it attaches as a file so I'm just going to remove this one and I'm going to show you how if you save it in OneDrive, which you certainly can and you probably should. If you save it in OneDrive, it's going to have a little cloud next to it, and that's fine. So if I'm saving from OneDrive, it's going to give me two options, share link or attach as copy. Attach as copy. I don't want the link to edit your assignment, attach it as a copy. I just want to view it. Make sure you click attach as copy. And then it should attach a copy of your digital maze adding and subtracting integers assignment. And that's it. That is all you have to do. You can, if you would like, write me a lovely little message in the body of the email or send me a funny math meme. Write me a math joke, do something. Say hey, um, that's fine too, but you do not have to write anything. And then you are just going to hit send. And that is all. That is how you get me your digital maze assignments. Bye.